sophomore trooper will be leading the Morville High School football team next season. It's a Tupelo assistant that's named the next head coach today. Morville announces today that John Keith is the new head man. Keith spending the last three seasons as an offensive coordinator under Trent Hammond at Tupelo. Former Morville head coach Kevin Austin decides to step down after nine seasons at the helm. He's the Troopers' winningest head coach in program history, making the playoffs in four of the last five seasons a feat Morville had never achieved. Keith is a 1997 Morville graduate. He's also coached at Amory, Shannon, and South Haven. He says he's extremely excited about the opportunity. Four of our area's high school football teams have quite the opportunity in front of them, hoping to get one of these this week, a gold ball at the state high school football championships. Before the trips to Oxford later this week, the teams speak to the media in Jackson today. East Webster will play Bassfield Friday. Knoxville County has St. Stanislaus Saturday. Stark Full and head coach Ricky Woods there on the left will face Pedal Friday. On the right is Oxford head coach Johnny Hill. He and the Chargers will see Wayne County Saturday, just a short drive from their high school. Fans can tailgate at these games, the MHSAA announces today. The Grove will be open before and during the games. Also, the Walk of Champions will be done by these teams, just as Ole Miss does, just like the teams do a year ago in Starkville with the Dog Walk. Pretty cool there. Oxford's Hill talks today about keeping up with Wayne County offensively and about it being his last game as head coach before he retires. I hadn't thought much about it. I've, I've, uh, I stay focused on trying to, to figure out a way to beat these guys, and, and uh, I'm sure when it's when it's over, and uh, I go home, and then uh, the next Monday when I don't, you know, worry about, or, or when I have Christmas break, it'll be a permanent Christmas break. So then, then it'll probably hit you. I think we're gonna have to get in the 40s and 50s if we're gonna stay in this ball game. They, they are very good on defense, and uh, they, their offense is really clicking right now. And, and we're gonna have to score with them to to to, to have a chance to win this thing. Well, here I'll hell jokes with the media coming out tonight at 10. WCBI's family of networks will broadcast every championship game. East Webster will be on My Mississippi. Starkville's game on the CW. Knoxby County, the CW Saturday. And Oxford on My Mississippi. The full schedule there is on our website, WCBI.com. And we're continuing to talk about our area teams ahead of these title games. We'll hear from East Webster tomorrow, Knoxby County on Wednesday, and Starkville on Thursday. To the